A Kiti state in southwest Nigeria is warming up to elect a new governor in a few days as incumbent governor Kayode Fayami winds up his tenure. In the forthcoming polls, six candidates from different political parties, including the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, and the main opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, will be on the ballot boxes testing their popularity among the people. Meanwhile, some Nigerians are of the opinion that the Akita State of Cycle election will put to test all claims of reforms and strategic policy implementations of INEC and also offer an opportunity to assess how the 2023 general elections will span out. Joining me to discuss this further is political affairs analyst and election observer Nelson Ekujimi. Thank you very much, as always, for joining us. Now, with the Akita governorship general election just a few days away, what are your expectations for the electoral process? Do you expect a violence-free election? Oh, absolutely, because I know that the security apparatus will be fully deployed. And like you have rightly said, this will be a litmus test for INEC to see how prepared they are for the 2023 general elections. So it presents a window of opportunity for INEC to improve on the beavers, as well as to see how the turnout of people will be who expect that comes Saturday, June 18, 2022, the people of Ekiti State will troop out in their large numbers to the polling, to the various polling units to elect a, a governor that will take over from Governor Kayo Defiami when his tenure expires. So we understand that you're currently in Ekiti State to observe the election on Saturday. Uh, but what is the mood of the people in the states like? Uh, do you think they're ready to exercise their electoral franchise? Oh, absolutely. Ekiti people have never shied away from exercising their franchise when election comes. The mood out there now is one of festivity. The people have only one thing in mind for Saturday. And it is to go and cast their votes. The young, the old, the, the elderly, everybody is prepared. And you can see it in them. There's no tension anywhere. It's all about, oh, we are going to elect a who will preside over our affairs for the next four years. And we cannot, but, you know, we all have to wish the people of Ekiti State a free, fair, violence free, and successful governorship election come Saturday. Political affairs analyst and election observer Nelson Ekujimi, thank you very much for your contribution. Thank you for coming.